guys, this is the Virgin Media Hub 4. I currently have the Hub 3 on the M500 Virgin Media package, so that's 500 megabytes per second. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the difference in speeds if you do upgrade to the Hub 4 comparing to the Hub 3. This is not a video on how to install the Hub 4 or how to upgrade from your Hub 3, but the installation guide is pretty straightforward, has easy to follow steps. But what I want to do is showcase how much power the Hub 4 can produce by maybe reaching different parts of your house with dead spots or zones that just have very low speeds. And there are a few places in my house that the Wi-Fi speeds are pretty slow and I'm gonna showcase to see if this actually makes a big difference. So now let's take a look. So just a disclaimer in case you don't know already, the Hub 4 is only available to those customers that are on a Gig 1 fiber broadband speed. So I have M500 currently and I'm upgrading to Gig 1, so that's 1000 megabytes per second broadband fastest for residential homes in the UK. So in comparison, this actually has exactly the same setup as the Hub 3. So the Hub 4 has the same number of ethernet ports, telephone ports, coaxial cable, and all of the other features are exactly the same. The only difference with this one compared to the Hub 3 is that this has 11 antennas built into it to give you a stronger Wi-Fi signal throughout your house. This one only has five. Now in comparison to some of the other competitors to Virgin Media, that's actually a little bit less than what some of the other routers have. Now, that's one of the reasons why I have a few dead zones around my house. So I have five bedrooms and there's three reception rooms downstairs and it's over three floors. So the ground floor, first floor and second floor. So in comparison, what I want to do is I want to show you the broadband speeds with the Hub 3 first, just to see how much of a difference it makes before I switch over to the Hub 4. Another side disclaimer, I've set up a mesh network using the TP-Link Deco M9 Plus series. So I have four of these around the house. Now I need a better coverage, so I'm always going to be having the mesh network set up even with the Hub 4. But in this comparison, I'm disconnecting this and I'm only using the Wi-Fi coming directly from the Virgin Media Hubs. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna disconnect this, showcase you guys the speed using the Hub 3 with my laptop using speedtest.net set up directly next to the wireless router. Okay, so my Deco M9 mesh network is disabled. I'm now connected to Virgin Media Wi-Fi. Of course, if I do connect to Ethernet, this will give me the fastest speeds, but for mo over 90% of you guys, you're always going to use Wi-Fi, so I'm going to disconnect that and only show a comparison with the Wi-Fi speeds. So let's take a look. Now this is my M500 using the Hub 3. You can see super fast 546 megabyte download speed on Wi-Fi. And the upload speed is always limited to roughly around 35. But as you can see, it's just going above that. So pretty strong and pretty happy with my Wi-Fi speeds when it's right next to the wireless router. So let me go ahead and go to one of the rooms that have a bit of a low coverage using the Hub 3 and show you comparison with the download and upload speeds there. So now I'm in my TV room, which is at the front of the house. It's quite far away from where the wireless router is set up. Still on the Hub 3, let's go ahead and check the speed here. And I'm still connected to Virgin Media, not any mesh network. Now compared to that 500 plus megabyte speed that you just saw for download, you can see in this room, it does no more than around 35, 36 for the download which is a massive difference and this is one of the reasons why I had to get a mesh network installed as well you know this is probably matching the upload speed which is not so great and one of the reasons why I chose Virgin Media is to have that super fast ultra fast broadband speed throughout my entire home and that's something that you know is quite disappointing that it just can't do with the Hub 3 so let's go ahead and as you can see you know they're almost a like to like it's pretty poor um, with that amount of speed that I should be getting. So what I want to do now is connect my Hub 4 and see if this improves in this room specifically. So just remember the download speed here, 34 megabytes per second in the front TV room. I'm gonna come back with the Hub 4 connected and hopefully, you know, with one gig broadband speeds, this should really increase you know, more than tenfold to be honest. So let's take a look. Okay, so the Hub 4 is now connected. It took about 15 minutes to get that up and running. 
Hub 3 completely disconnected, the mesh network disconnected. Let's go ahead and I'm going to be expecting very high speeds. So I had about 540 megabytes on the Hub 3 or the M500. Hopefully this one should be a lot higher than that for the Hub 4 and the one gig speed. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite disappointing. 577 compared to 546 that I had for the M500. I was expecting this to be at least, you know, 8, 900. Now, if you see the sort of terms and conditions they sent me for the broadband speeds, this is for the one gig fiber one. The minimum guaranteed speed they said was 565 at, you know, really peak times, but the average is between 1.1 gig and 1.14 and I'm not really getting that so that's really disappointing there's no sort of minimum upload speed listed there so that's quite a shame and it's not a peak period you know it's just Sunday afternoon and there's you know probably not a lot of traffic on the network so that bandwidth I think is just really poor but let me do a comparison with the room at the front which has a bit of a dead zone okay so back in my front TV room which is a dead zone hotspot for Wi-Fi just remember for the hub 3 this was averaging around 34 megabytes hoping this is a little bit faster now with the hub 4 Okay, there you can see the end result and it's pretty disappointing to be honest I'm not sure how the dead zone got even more dead but it's a lot less than what it was before so that's very disappointing and you know I've overall I've tested this maybe around 10 times I ran the speed test and this has probably been the highest that it's been out of all of them it's been a lot less as well in some cases so I'm not quite sure why that is so for them to specify the hub for 11 antennas faster and stronger Wi-Fi coverage it's a little bit beyond me why that doesn't actually be the case and I've also tested this in other rooms it's still quite low and I feel like my hub 3 was slightly faster so I'm not sure if there's something specifically I'm doing different to what they've said but as of now all I can say is my recommendation especially for the minimum guaranteed speeds that I should be expecting I think from my experience from testing this out today the hub 4 is probably not worth it and I would be more than happy to just stick with my hub 3 I will be speaking to Virgin Media about this as well so overall in my recommendation should you upgrade to the hub 4 in my experience no but of course your experience could be slightly different to mine I'd like to hear from you guys as well what your experience is if you have tried the hub 4 is it super fast and I'm not going to be using Ethernet cables in all the areas of my house because that's just not very convenient but I would say right now I might downgrade back to the hub 3 because it gives me you know much better speeds in all of the areas of my rooms in all of the areas of my house and I'm going to be connecting back to the mesh network just to get better coverage but even with the mesh network it doesn't give me the full capabilities of Virgin Media Wi-Fi but just for context I will now connect the mesh network come back to this dead zone room my TV room just to see if I can get the speed up a little bit so I've now reconnected to my mesh network I don't know if you guys can see but there's one of the TP link decos there under the TV stand just so that I can complement this into the dead zone so I should get a stronger signal let's go ahead and do the test now so I'm connected to the TP link network and see if that makes an improvement here
so this is quite surprising it was a lot faster than this when I was connected to the TP link network in my hub 3 so this hub 4 upgrade is just not something that has worked in my favor I'm quite disappointed so I would be calling Virgin Media to downgrade back to the hub 3 at the monthly cost I was paying for that so you know if my experience helps any of you guys then definitely let me know and drop a comment down below otherwise for me I would say that the hub 4 is probably not recommended double check to see if you know your area does have really fast 1 gig fiber broadband available first before you do that and one good thing is that you know I'm still in the 14 day cooling off period so I can downgrade at no additional cost so that's probably what I'm going to do if this was useful make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you did like this video and you like all things tech I'll be creating a lot more useful videos like this in the future so make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time take care